Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2253, which is a hard level. And I'm going to try to make it a lot easier by bringing in a lucky candy. Because lucky candies always correspond directly to order fulfillment, and I've got some fun things to collect. I just have way too many to do in 20 moves. I've got to get 20 wrapped, 20 striped, 5 color bombs, and reach 65,000 points. And having tried this 10 times on my own, ready to bring in a booster to help me. So here's my lucky candy. When I activate it, it's going to be one of these three. I'm hoping color bomb. I want to get the color bombs done and out of the way. While I'm waiting for that, though, I'll go ahead and make any specials I can on the board. These conveyor belts, this is important to know, they're isolated unto themselves. They just keep cycling through the same candies over and over. That's important to know if you're trying to construct a special. As it develops, you need to know what's what. Okay, so we've got two lucky candies. Let's open this one up. Yay, it's a color bomb, just what I wanted. And I want to set it off with an individual color candy instead of any specials because this will concentrate the colors and make it more likely that I'll get some color bombs to appear and other specials. And of course, the more candy I cycle through, the more opportunity I have to get more of these lucky candies on the board because the lucky candies become part of the candy mix. Yeah, this is a good one. When I'm getting color bombs from my lucky candies, it's a good board. So now, because it's lucky, I want to make sure that I don't blow it. Because I could certainly get unlucky boards to show up. So I need to maximize my ability here. I'm going to bring this down so this hopefully can open up and set off this. Let's try it with a stripe here. Maybe not. I'm just going to set this off. I really need a lot of uh, candy to cycle through here so I can get as many of those luckies as I can. Now, of course, if I can set off a lucky candy with, or, or like a color bomb with a striped candy or a wrapped candy, that'll help me with my other order fulfillment. Hmm. If it's on the conveyor, it's not in danger of getting consumed by chocolate. don't have any purple on here to help with that. Just looking for all of my opportunities. Let me do this. There we go. Ah, stink. Should have seen that one coming. All right, well, let's make more specials. Bring more stuff down and try to get more lucky candies to show up. There we go. Ah, no, no, no. Don't go too far. Okay, so now I'm going to open up all orange and actually turn them into stripes. So that'll be my stripe fulfillment. Remember that my UFOs, as I send them off, each one of these will give me three wrapped candies. And they're bringing down more candy. They're giving me more opportunities to not only collect these lucky candies, but also just to create chaos on the board that can sometimes construct some fun things for me. That lucky candy turned into a wrapped. We're going to take out colors, concentrating the colors down. Now I have all of my color bombs, so now all lucky candies that I open up are going to be wrapped candies because that's the only thing I need. So that's how I beat level 2253. Yes, I brought in a booster, but 10 times without a booster and I wasn't able to beat it. Once with a booster and I had five moves left. I will say, though, that um, I was fortunate that my lucky candies in the beginning, uh, I got some nice color bombs. And sometimes you'll only get one lucky candy the entire time on the board. You do want to cycle through as much as you can and you want to hope that you get a, a relatively lucky board in that respect, that you get more than one on the board. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.